Good morning, South Brandon. My name is Pastor Brian Jones. It's nice to be with you here today on this beautiful, almost summer, Florida, 95 degree, humid day. You know, we're blessed to live here, but it is hot. I'm even sweating talking about it. Um, but it's, it's, it's a funny place to live because at one moment it can be humid, 95, 100 degrees, and the next minute it's raining thunderstorms on us. And 10 minutes go by, and it's it's beautiful, it's 80 degrees and cool, and then the next minute, it's a hurricane. And it's a funny place to live, and, and I want to talk about that in just a minute. But I want to share with you some thoughts this morning of, of some things that have been on my heart that God's been teaching me uh, in this Life in the Overflow devotional. And, but also over the years, and just kind of showing me some, some, some truths about who he is and what he's capable of doing through us. I, I'm reading uh, specifically in day 37 in the uh, devotional book, day 37. It says, I can do the same things Jesus did. And I want to start by reading the scripture that it references here in John chapter 14, verse 12. It says, very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. We also know in the book of Philippians, it tells us uh, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, through, through him who strengthens me. You know, I will say as a, as a believer, I've been a Christian since I was 18 years old. And, um, you know, as a believer, as a Christian, I don't know if there's any, any scripture that on one hand is more hopeful because it's amazing as, as we go through our daily lives. And sometimes we can find that we don't have, we just feel like we don't have a purpose or, or, or we're, we get set in routines and the mundane things of life. And we think, well, you know, what is this all about? And, and we can read that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That Jesus is teaching his disciples that you'll do even greater things. It's a very hopeful verse as a Christian. But on the other hand, I don't know if there's a, a scripture that I read that's uh, more frustrating than, than that as well. And, and I'll explain why. And maybe you can relate this morning with some of these thoughts. You know, a, as, a, um, as a believer, so many times when I'm faced with, with trials or, or situations or challenges... I, I focus on the things that I can't do. I, I focus on my shortcomings, you know, as a husband, as a father, as a, as a believer, as, as part of the, the body of Christ, as part of the church family. I, I make a lot of mistakes, and, and as I'm faced with challenges, I tend to focus on those mistakes. I tend to focus on my failures as a person, and I, and I, and I take the focus off Christ and all that he is, all that he's done, and all that he's doing. So when I read the scripture, I, I, can get, I can get frustrated. I want to be hopeful and just press on and say, yes, I can do it. But I'm reminded of those shortcomings. And I'll never forget a, a story that uh, is very real today as it was. It happened about four or five years ago. And it was sort of a defining moment in my Christian life. And I want to share it with you. I've shared it in messages before over the years. And um, it's something I'll never forget. As, as Pastor Chris shared uh, a few devotional videos ago that um, he shared about being able to do weddings for people and how we get this tremendous opportunity to be a part of, of people in the community's lives as a pastor and to get to do their weddings. And we're faced with some, some pretty awesome uh, challenges and, and moments. Well, there's one that I'll never forget. It, was, it happened at a wedding rehearsal on St. Pete Beach. I think it was Treasure Island Beach area about four or five years ago. And I was with a couple. We were just finishing the rehearsal. And, and I asked, would it be okay if I say a prayer for the family and for everyone here involved? And they said, sure, go ahead, Pastor. And I, um, so we got together. I prayed. I first prayed for, uh, for safety for everyone traveling because there was a lot of people coming a great distance to be there. And, and secondly, I prayed for uh, just peace because it can be stressful. I see it in, in family. I see it in couples all the time. It's a lot of work to put on a wedding, and I, I just want them to enjoy it and to really be present in the moment. So I prayed for peace. And finally, you know, it was a, it was a typical Florida day, humid, hot, sweating, but those thunderstorms were rolling in pretty, pretty good, and the forecast looked pretty miserable for a wedding weekend on the beach. It looked like it was going to be just thunderstorms all weekend. And, 
And I could tell everybody was pretty stressed about that. So I finally prayed that the Lord would just bless us with great weather. That, that um, even if it was just for 15 minutes or 30 minutes to have a wedding ceremony on the beach, that he would just, you know, just part the clouds and just give us a great day. That, that perfect day that this couple had been dreaming about. So I finished. I said, amen. Everybody else, everybody else said amen and thanked me. And, and as I was walking out, the bride, I'll never forget it, in front of everybody, said, you know, thank you so much for everything, Pastor Brian. Uh, you know, I'm not even worried about the rain anymore because we've got you, Pastor Brian. And I kind of paused for a second. It, it, it kind of took me back. At first, I was, you know, as anybody would, I was flattered that they that they liked me and they trusted me and, and that they could see Christ in me as a man that, that loved God and, and uh, would kind of stand in the gap for them during this wedding. And, um, you know, I was flattered. But then those shortcomings set in, those frustrations, those failures set in, that doubt, that lack of belief, that unbelief as we see in the Bible, that set in. And I instantly thought, oh my gosh, Lord, you better show up because it looks pretty bad out there. This couple's counting on me. Their whole family's counting on me. Remember, they said they've got Pastor Brian, right? Superman for the moment. And I left feeling discouraged. As I drove home from the rehearsal, I felt like, gosh, you know, did I pray good enough? Did I say the right words? What happens if it pours down on us? Will they be turned away from God? Will they be, uh, will they doubt God's power? Will they doubt my love for God and me as a, as a man of God? All those, all those words from the enemy, all those doubts were creeping into my mind and I left feeling discouraged. And later that night, I heard the Lord just remind me that you can do all things through me, through Christ, my son who died and rose again on the cross that, that, that took all the sin of the world, all, all that stuff and faced death and rose again. All the power that we see in the Bible, all the words that are shown and taught to the disciples, all those who were healed, all those who were, who were um, just all those who were given hope and new life all those things and more we can do. So what's a little weather? You don't think I can handle that? And I just got quiet and I just began to pray, Lord, it's not on my strength. It's, it's not on anything I can do other than just believe that you are good and that you love us and you love that couple and you love that family and you want a beautiful day on the beach. And, and he just reminded me of that, just trust in me. Just trust in me. Believe with all your heart. Put it on me. Take that, take that doubt, take that burden off of you and put it on me. And so we had the wedding. It was great. It was beautiful. And they thanked me. But I just, I just pointed it back to, to God. And I said, you know, uh, this was a beautiful day because God, God loves you and God is in control. And, you know, I want to encourage you with that this morning that any challenge that you are facing, that any challenge that you are uh, up against, take the burden off of you. As somebody comes to you and says, hey, pray for me. Don't think you have to have the right words. Don't think you have to do the right things. Just believe with all your heart. Point the glory, point the power back to Christ. Take those burdens off of you and just trust him. And I hope that, um, I hope that challenged you this morning and, and really through your life. It's been a work in progress for me and nobody's perfect, but I believe that the Lord has really um, been speaking and is speaking to all of us to truly put this life's worries and burdens on him completely. So God bless you. Thank you so much for watching and listening and hope you have a great day.